What's up, guys? It's June 20th, 2024. Had a sick day today. Um, kind of clean shop. I made back a decent amount of what I lost, but I still lost the account. So I only have one live account, but it's in profits. That's nice. Today was like, um, we had a gap up. It reversed, made a bear flag right here where I just drew a wedge top bear flag. We broke out for super clean legs. Look, like one, like two, like three, or you could say like one, pull back, like two, pull back, like three. The bulls get there, like one, pull back, like two, pull back, like three. And then look at this, like one, pull back, like two, pull back, like three, wedge bottom, or range bound. This tested that high. I got out as this bar was turning up. And I was like, wow, what a good price action day. Hope you guys banked. Um, I'm feeling all right. I hate that I lost those accounts, but I have work tomorrow. So if I had take a trade, I'm going to take like one micro and just swing, try and make like $50. Um, yeah, let's get into it. I'm going to try and keep this under 10 minutes. We have a pretty quick one, I think. Um, so one update I wanted to mention, I this daily chart, this is the daily, this is the 45 minute. I added the 20 EMA onto the 45 minute chart. And I think this is so cool because now this to me looks like the five minute chart, right? But um, kind of like but on a 45 minute perspective. So like if we were to translate because the price action is fractal, this would be the 45 minute. This would be the five minute EMA. And I would just trade this like that. Then I am lit. Maybe once I can get my bearings, I definitely want to start an options account and swing the 45 minute. That would be so sick to like catch this gap up, pull back, buy here. Um, like this is a great swing. I think this is also a really nice swing. And like I would just hold for a target down here, you know. So there's lots of possibilities coming. I hope my trading. This has been the best month so far. I'm going to do whether I get paid out or not this month. I'm going to do a live recording of my PL. Um, it's pretty nice. I'm not going to drop any numbers yet, but I'm just saying that. Uh, yeah. Okay. Let's get into the price action. Bar one, bear bar. And also, I just ignored this little Wednesday. So the range you're seeing here is uh, Tuesdays. We are, we had a pretty nice bull trend. I feel like that was climactic. It was <laughs> late in the bull trend. Really nice trend. Really big bars moving fast. The day felt like it was moving fast. So that's climactic. And now look, bear bulls are not getting any continuation at highs. So not good. We are super, <laughs> I keep flipping back. We were extended away from the daily. We haven't touched it since May 31st. I don't know. That's a decent amount of days. I know one of you guys know the days. All right. So that's the context. And then I just, this, today was sick. Like one, pull back, like two, pull back, like three, pull back, like four for the bears. Okay. So gap up bar one, no continuation for the bulls. Bar two, looks like they bought the low of bar one and they went for a tag of a breakout of uh, Tuesday's high, yesterday's high. They fail with bar five and six. The market starts to reverse. They come really close, but it fails. Bulls that bought here have a very quick opportunity to buy here and get out, break even, but if they don't, they're trapped and they hit out. Like one, pull back like two. We break out of the EMA. And the market goes sideways. A big up. Big down, sideways price action. What's the market cycle? Breakout, first pullback. First opposite bar creates a channel phase. So now we're in the channel phase, breakout, channel. Market cycle could also reset with this breakout for multiple reasons. But first, let's talk about this wedge top bear flag because this really set the precedence for the day. There was a failure at highs, strong breakout with follow through, and then a prolonged pullback, like one, pullback, like two, pullback, like three for the bulls, wedge top. Bar 22 breaks out with good follow through with 23 and 24. 23 is not the best follow through because of the tail, but it, it's bouncing off bar 17. Then we go sideways. Bar 27 rejects the EMA. It looks like there are more sellers at the EMA. Bulls are starting to get trapped. They're hitting out. Bar 28 looks like a good breakout. And we go sideways into the EMA again. So at this moment, the market's definitely more range bound. There, there's way more bear pressure, but we're going sideways. Um, Bears aren't necessarily shorting lows. Every time we get to a new low, we go sideways. New low, we go sideways. However, on bar 34, the market context for the bears change. They start to break out and then look at 35, 36, and 37. Really strong breakout below the higher time frame EMA. Um, <clears throat> so just like we treat the 
breakouts on the five minute. That's how we treat the breakouts on the 45 minute. Leg one, pull back leg two, pull back leg three. Wedge bottom into a measured move of yesterday's range. So this high, this low is here. That makes sense. Let me, <laughs> I was janky. Hold on. So. blue that's about I me mean, that right there so that was a measured move and then the market went sideways the bears got their measured move and it went sideways which makes sense al always says when the when the don't fade until the market meets a measured move and then here you see bar 51 you can buy that for a breakout bar 54 wedge bottom i i actually caught it quits here and then i saw this price action bear flag reversing at the ema and i got short again for a scalp and then uh I was looking for a retest of this bar, but I saw this tail and this started to race up. So I hit out here, came back about five points, which sucks, but you know, it is what it is. I was playing for a few more points. I got a little greedy, but I had a good day. Um, Like I said, I hope you guys did too. I don't want to get too cocky, but these wedges and like just they, understanding the context where the sellers and buyers are really helping. There are more sellers at the EMA and right here is a shift. The seller bears are shorting lows now and they're shorting new lows. First pullback, it's steep, it's hidden. It's a fractal pullback. So like one, pullback like two, like one, pullback like two. The pullback starts up here. So it'd be like one, pullback like two, pullback like three. This is also a fractal like one, like two, like one, pullback like two, like one, hidden leg two, le hidden bull leg. So like one hidden bull leg, like two. So there's you gotta you gotta pick up on the hidden legs because that's there. Look, the bulls rallied here. Bulls rallied here. Bulls rallied here. Bulls are trapped. They're gonna try and get out, and they did. They ultimately either made a point, or they got out on the way up somewhere at their average. Um, and then the market gets a wedge wedge top here. Bear flag. This, we break out below the higher time frame EMA. There's a gap here that stayed open. So you guys see this gap from the low of 34 to the high of 36. Uh, we can drag that across. So this gap stayed open just enough. And uh, not to discount the bulls because they also got a gap down here something like this nature but i'm talking about more about bar gap i like to look at gaps between one bar gap bar two bars so this is the gap between that and it stays open with bar 61 reversal below i mean reversal on the high time frame and it breaks below the five minute look at the emas they're going more sideways now so if you're still bearish around here you gotta think well we're going sideways the EMA, the ema is not sloped anymore the ema have had a big down big up so the emas are going flat like one pull back like two like one pull back like two pull back like three like one pull back like two second leg trap bar 71 is testing the high of a bar 50 and reverses this is really tough price action this is a limit order market i would definitely just sit out after bar 72 i do i stop trading I, if i'm usually if i'm green on the day i call it here if i'm red i'm trading these bars which is super dangerous which is counterintuitive wedge top sells off like one pull back like two pull back like three it's just about 10 minutes we're at nine minutes here so yeah, at the end of the month, beginning of early next month, I'm gonna do a PL drop. Um I may right now I have one week left. I am up the most I've ever been. It's my first green month. If I don't trade anymore, it's my first green month, but I am gonna trade. Four or five days left. We'll see what happens next Friday. I'm working tomorrow, so you guys be safe. I'm still gonna look for a swing at work with one or two micros. Have a good one, guys. I'll talk to you later. Use your stop loss, don't drink and drive. Drop some comments. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know how you guys are doing. Are you guys trading with Apex? Do you trade your own funds? Have a good one, guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye.